Welcome to another video on data to decisions. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the 2024 United States election tracker. Very, very simple Excel template that you can download from Enzara.com and enter your specific predictions for certain states and then let the template calculate the total electoral votes and who the winner is. So I'm going to walk you through this template very quickly. Um, even though it's pretty straightforward, I've added some uh, functionality which I would like to walk through. First of all, on the left side of this template, we have all the different states. And also I have added the congressional districts separately at the bottom. And um, the winner of each of these can be chosen here. So for example, here I've already chosen um, the names of the winners of those states which um, uh, everybody's saying that it's already decided, but then there are seven states and one congressional district, which um, I believe is in play. So those are what I'm calling it as uh, competitive states. And so those are currently listed as unknown. And this is on the left side, so which is where the, uh, the entry can be made for any of the uh, states. And then on the right side, I show on the top the number of electoral votes for each candidate. And also the gray bar in the middle shows that there are 94 that are undecided or hard to predict. Now, those comparative states, the seven states and the Nebraska second congressional district. Now, the result can be entered here. So let's say, for example, uh, I'm going to choose um, the Democratic candidate to be the winner of the Arizona state. Then automatically on the top, the electoral votes get uh, added up for the Democratic candidate um, from the undecided um, section. And also now at the bottom, we have the chances of um, Democratic win or the Republican win or the tie. They get calculated automatically. So here it says, um, let me go back to unknown. So when we started, there was a 55.1% chance of the Democrat winning the presidency and then 43.4% for the Republican. And then there was a 1.6%, uh, which is basically four scenarios, uh, which uh, can end up in a tie. And you see on the bottom right is these are the four scenarios which could end up in a tie. So if I, if I want to just test this, I'm just going to go ahead and paste these values and you will see in this exact combination there will be 269 electoral votes for both candidates and it will be a tie. So let me just do undo and get it back to unknown. So this is the point of showing the specific scenarios where there is a tie. But as we predict or as we um, choose specific winners, let's say for example for Georgia, let me choose the Republican candidate and those 16 electoral votes get added to the Republican candidate on the top. And then you will see on the map also that um, Georgia now becomes red. Um, before, if I go back to unknown, Georgia was gray and now it's become red after I do this. So similarly, the map gets updated. On the top, total electoral votes get updated. And there's also this new thing that I built for called must win. So let's say, for example, um, the Democratic candidate wins both Arizona and Georgia. Now, you will see a red flag for Pennsylvania indicating that um, now it is a must win for the Republican candidate because without Pennsylvania, there's no uh, path to victory uh, for the Republican uh, candidate. So this is the you know must win. And the same thing applies for the Democratic candidate as well. If the Republican candidate wins the first three states, then these other three, uh, which are shown with a red flag, these are must win for the Democratic candidate. Now, at the bottom left, we have this um, waffle chart. Um, this shows of the remaining undecided or unknown uh, states, there are there is a out of that there is a 12 percent uh 12.5 percent chance that the democratic candidate will win and then the republican candidate will win 87 point there's no chance of a tie anymore um so there's no tie that's getting displayed i should put an if error around it not to show it like that before i publish this template um but basically there's no chance of a tie now if i go back and uh once i enter all the choices then 
as I keep going, you will see that the, you know, the numbers get updated, everything. And then now, you know, in this combination, random combination, there is still one state which is unknown and both are must wins. And there's, there are 10 electoral votes and that's going to decide who's going to win um, the presidency. So very simple. Um, we have the top bar chart and then we have some calculations for must wins. We have the geographic map uh, on the right, which gets updated automatically. We have the waffle chart, which shows the chances of um, a win for each of the candidate uh, from the remaining states and the congressional districts. And then if there is a tie, we also show what exact scenario or the combination will result in a tie. So I'll publish this template on our website and uh, put the link on the video description. Please uh, download it and uh, hopefully it's useful. You can, as the results get uh, published tomorrow or as even before that, if you want to just take a swing at predicting who's going to win each state and what are the different possibilities um, for each of the candidate to win, then please um, do so. Please provide your feedback on the template uh, in the comments. Um, I'll be looking forward to your um, response. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon in the next one.